Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ruchi. Uh, I know after a really long time I'm vlogging, so please don't mind. And this is a travel vlog. Like after two years, I'm just going somewhere, enjoying my time, not for uh, dance or maybe not just going back my home. So this uh, trip is very special because me and Nathan are going out, and this is our first international trip together, and we are really excited about it. So I will uh, show you where we are going. Stay tuned, and I hope you will love watching this vlog. And we are all set to go to the airport. You can see it's uh, around 7:15 now, and uh, right now we are just about to go to our airport. So yeah, I will see you up in airport. So finally we reached the airport uh, like by uh, 9 or something like 8.39 and we went through the money exchange first and then we headed towards the international airport. Between that a tragic thing did happen like we broke our bag. Uh, the handle really came off and I was really pissed off like but then I was like fine okay I should not spoil my mood after all the check-in and everything we just sat there for like two hours and finally uh, at 12 30 we just uh, boarded our flight uh, it's a flight from Chennai to Kuala Lumpur and from Kuala Lumpur we will be going to Bali uh, definitely we were feeling damn sleepy but yeah uh, going to a new place and it's a vacation time so really excited about it so we just uh, don't mind spoiling our uh, sleep at that moment uh, you know taking our seats and uh, sitting over there you can see how sleepy we look and we did enjoy the food like it was okay uh, and uh, yeah we slept for like a few hours and uh, by I think 7 we reached Kuala Lumpur and from Kuala Lumpur our next flight was at um, you know a uh, nine to bali and i was really happy that it's a very short time like a very short layover so i just don't need to sit there for hours and just you know feel tired so from there we went to the you know checking process and everything and i was really happy like i saw a lot of people who were just going to bali as it was our first international trip and Bali just opened uh, the borders for the international or tourist people I was really uh, you know confused whether people will be going or not seeing them I was really happy for four four and a half hours of journey we just finally reached Bali it was like 12 12 13 in Bali and the climate over there was uh, like humid hot but not hot as Chennai so yeah we were really happy about it and excited to enjoy so this is the way they uh, you know welcomed us and i was really happy we booked our you know whole tour with a trinity you can check them out on instagram the one thing which you will notice in my whole bali video is the sky the beautiful sky which you will see in bali they are so so pretty so bright so beautiful i just loved them and we were damn hungry so requested our driver just to stop by uh, any place where we can have our food or lunch so we had I think chicken spring roll and spaghetti both of them tasted very 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 tasty like it was damn tasty but yeah this uh, Bali coffee was not uh, my cup of coffee because it was strong and I don't prefer much of the strong coffee so yeah this was a no no for me but yeah the food was really really tasty. So from there uh, it took like half an hour or something we reached our uh, you know villa the Payagan villa in Ubud. Ubud is a really beautiful place where you can spend time with your loved ones and with your family. It's so quiet and so good if you are coming to Bali definitely you know book a room with them. They have like a really good service they are welcoming and you know I mean there is no negative point I can say about the rooms or even about the service they gave us. So like 4 4 30 or 5 o'clock we reached the villa and they took us through the buggy to the villa this is the one bedroom you know pool villa and uh, we had this beautiful pool and the view and it's so silent so quiet you will enjoy that time with your loved ones 
so uh, let me show you the room like how it is you will definitely love it and uh, Nitin is just smiling because looking at the room he is also very happy so this is the entrance of the room and that what you see is the bed I just literally love the bed and the curtains they have put over and uh, thanks to the Pygon team and the Trinity team who has done this like uh, the decor the cute decor I'm really happy about it and then it's a very big uh, room and um, this is the bathroom entrance and this is the mirror and obviously the tired me and uh, I love the bathroom which has bathtub they have decorated it with flowers it's so cute and uh, this is the mirror and uh, we just have a closet over here and the shower next to it so the best part about this room is the view so here Nitin is standing and uh, just enjoying the time over here so yeah so this is the view I was talking about it's so 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 beautiful like you get a beautiful view of the pool and the scenery like you can see it's so quiet and it's it feels like you are in your own home like build up a wall and every sort of thing so yeah we just enjoyed and uh, Nitin is saying hi to my vlog so yeah we uh, definitely recommend you guys this kind of a villa if you are planning to have if you are not looking for any airbnb so this is how it looks like in the night so beautiful so calm so quiet and uh, we are just heading to have our you know dinner over there we just had sandwiches uh, some chicken sausages and uh, even the desert and i'm not kidding in bali if you have the deserts in every area it will be so different and it will be so damn tasty i just love 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 the deserts over there and this is the soup which we started off in it was tasty then we had the sandwiches and the chicken sausage sandwiches were pretty good but sausage was okay and finally the desert which i'm talking about it looks so good and it tasted so 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 good after calling it a day in the next morning we just requested for a floating breakfast and they are so punctual like we asked them to come by 7 30 and we, they arrived at 7 30 because uh, we need to start our day early uh, as our uh, you know guide and the driver will be waiting for us by you know 9 30 10 so we want to take some good pictures have some fun before get started so we asked them to come as early as possible and we just ordered uh, i think uh, american breakfast over here so Nitin uh, went into the pool and they just kept our breakfast over the pool. Uh, it was the first time we really clicked a lot of pictures. Uh, to follow us on Instagram so that you can see the pictures which we are going to post over there. Uh, as you can see the breakfast look really yummy. After having a great time at pool and the breakfast we just headed to our first ever stop. That is uh, Tirat Ganga, the water palace. It's really beautiful and um, a famous spot on Instagram because a lot of influencers and bloggers take pictures over there so we also headed to that place <laughs> say hi to my vlog hi <laughs> it's just in Bali Bali yeah. so there was this place where you can take pictures uh, uh, with these animals I was scared but he said that these animals are his pet and won't do anything so Nitin uh, obviously took some pictures and uh, took some videos you can see his Instagram stories if you want to check it out so from here we headed to the water palace and we had to wait in the line to take some good pictures over there and I'm just showing off you my skin and the makeup obviously my pimples and as I said in the video the sky in this whole vlog you will see this beautiful sky and here comes our guide Ketuji who was helping us throughout the trip and it was a great time with him so we are just looking around this beautiful place and it was so good the weather was so good it was not so hot and humid it was okay okay from there we went to a nearby restaurant where we had our lunch and it was a very beautiful place with a beautiful spots just to take some pictures I ordered this drink its name was sunshine drink and some rice 
and uh, chicken satay that's a uh, you know balinese dish and this the area i was talking about nitin and i took a lot of pictures over there it was so beautiful from there we went to the gate of heaven the name of the temple is lempu yang and uh, you have seen a lot of pictures on instagram it is very famous the gate of heaven we just went there and took some picture if you come by car you can just drop your car down and uh, take their you know bus or uh, van from there to reach the top and from there you have to walk and you just need to wear the sarong you will get it downstairs itself without wearing you can't enter the temple so we wore that and it's called sarong and uh, we couldn't go to the main uh, you know temple uh, because it was closed they had some sort of festival on wednesday for that the whole temple was decorated and it was looking so pretty and beautiful uh, from this gate of heaven we have to get down and go back uh, so it was a really nice you know view and the decoration made it so beautiful and here comes an end to our day one we just visited two places because it was too far from ubud so we are now heading back to our hotel so here we start our day 2 starting off with a really healthy and good breakfast the view over our you know ubud villa uh, the breakfast area is so pretty look at it the hotel staffs are really good and they just gave us this beautiful happy honeymoon cake which was very fresh the chocolate taste was so good literally we loved this cake and thanks to the team for making our you know every day so special at their villa so going to our first place for today it's ubud's monkey forest it was like 10 to 15 minutes far from our villa and uh, i was scared to go there because i did had a moment with them in shimla from which i am scared and i was thinking like why i didn't remove this place from my itinerary but i did a lot of research while choosing every place we are going to visit and this was one from them like it was famous and people uh, used to take a lot of pictures and post on instagram so i thought why not to give it a chance and um, i thought okay i will go there but uh, right now as i was reaching over there i was scared i was literally scared and was thinking like oh god why i'm going there uh this is the ubud monkey forest it has almost like 500 monkeys over there and it looks exactly like a forest it has this beautiful sculptures all over there and uh, you don't need to worry about it because uh, in each and every point there will be a security and a guard who will help you out if the monkey is aggressive or you know doing some sort of things which you you know scared of like uh, they may uh, get aggressive and may snatch your phone or may snatch your food if you are eating so better you don't eat uh, and go there like you don't have any snack packets in your hand uh, it's my advice and and nitin did take a chance and took some pictures with the monkey he did enjoy it and uh, i was always staying far from the monkeys because i'm scared of uh you can take a good amount like a uh, two hours to you know cover all of these places like all the areas but i was scared and with within one hour i was like let's go back because i was literally scared of the monkeys they were jump, jumping from here and there and just walking but yeah they were not doing any sort of thing but i was scared so i was like yeah let's go back from there we went to a second spot it is tirtha temple it's a temple which is famous for holy spring and we were really excited to go here we have heard a lot about it and here i am showing you of my outfit of the day because i couldn't and this dress is from amazon so yeah we just went inside this temple and there is a really beautiful story about it so to enter this temple you have to wear the sarong uh, and it will be available in the entrance of uh, you know the temple and it's really beautiful uh, really uh, you know nicely constructed a very uh, you know unique thing about this uh, temple is the water the water is coming like 24 to 7 12 months and every day in the year uh, from the ground and it is believed that it comes from the heart uh, and uh, there is a very beautiful story about it you can definitely google it and see the sky again it's so beautiful and pretty this is the place where the water emerges and uh, it never stops it keep on changing its positions that what our uh, guide told us about this temple and we did enter the holy water for that you just need to wear the clothes what is provided by the temple for that you have to pay and the cost is very minimal very very minimal and uh, we just wore that dress and went into the 
water uh, sorry i couldn't uh, you know use any kind of videos over there but yeah i can uh, you know share a picture over here where you can see like how we went through yeah they treat this water as ganga like how we treat all your uh, you know bad uh, things you have done in your life everything just goes away we were just enjoying the scenic beauty and it is meant to be the famous and the richest temple in bali that's what our guide told us and it has very beautiful sculptures and the architecture everything is so good and it's so different from what we see in our you know india the temple is really different so in the temple premises itself there is this market it's vast market it has a lot of shops and i will really suggest you guys to shop from here uh, they will uh, keep a price and you can bargain that's what they say but don't over bargain because for past two years the tourism was closed and they work and their income is only from the tourism so know the worth of the product and you can bargain uh, actually there are a lot of uh, different varieties of you know uh, stuffs and dresses every sort of thing is available over there let me know in the comment section if you would like to see what all i got from here so from there we went to a nearby restaurant and had me goreng which means uh, fried noodles it was really tasty and yummy i tried all kind of noodles over there and from there we went to kintamani it's a mountain view it's a very beautiful place we didn't had uh, so much of time to go for a trekking it will start probably at 2 am so it was not uh, my cup of tea so definitely i was a no no for that uh, but yeah this was a very beautiful view and the black uh, you know spot you can see near the mountain is the lava it is a you know active mountain the lava is there and that's what the guide told us so this was a very beautiful place we enjoyed our drink and from there we uh, went for the spa it was a 2 hour spa which i couldn't you know vlog and here comes end to the day 2 and here starts the day 3 and we are just going to visit this beautiful villa we are going to a new place called seminac and this is the outfit of the day we are going to cover bali swing so i thought why not to wear something flowy i'm just going to miss this beautiful place the room the view everything and even the most welcoming people i met over over here so saying a final goodbye to this beautiful place as we are going to have our breakfast and leave for bali swing and then from there we will go to seminac our last breakfast over here uh, part 2 of this bali vlog is coming really soon and if you like this video please share like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video till then bye and yeah definitely comment if you would like to see these kind of travel vlogs bye